Hello all, and welcome back to the YouTube channel of All Day Chess. Today we have a very special episode. We're coaching a Fortnite coach. He's pretty awesome, and I'll hand it over to him to talk uh, a little bit about himself. Let's go ahead. Yeah, what's going on guys? My name is Hyperdrives. I am a Fortnite coach for Team Kingarna. I got reached out to by uh, Ape, and uh, I guess here I'm, I'm here to answer some chess trivia. I don't know much about chess, but let's uh, hope I don't do terribly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is basically going to be, I'm going to be asking a bunch of content creators, like you guys saw the first one with the Gamers Ready owner, Alex. Uh, but before we go any further, make sure to check out his socials in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So, okay, yeah, uh, let's get started. So what do you know about chess so far? Like, So, I mean, I've played it just a couple times. I know, like, the standard opener. Um, mm -hmm. I, don't really, I don't really play anything. I really walk with it a lot, but... Yeah. Uh, Do you think you're the best know. on your Fortnite team? Oh, f no. I'm, I'm a really, really bad chess player. When I say I played it a little bit, I mean, like, I played it for, like, a week because I was bored. Yeah, I mean, but no one else on your team probably played it, right? Or do they? No, no, no. I mean, you never know. People usually just, like, are good at chess. Who knows? So they're naturally born with a talent for chess? No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying, like, people, people will be like, yeah, I'm, like, super, really good at, I'm super good at chess, even though, like, nobody knows it. You know what I mean? They'll just play for fun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, when you play a little bit, so we'll go over the basics real quick. So, basically, these are called pawns. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, if I... I go that far, right? Because there's the... Uh, there's pawns, knights, uh, mm -hmm. rooks. Yep. Um, king, queen, obviously, and then bishops, right? Yep, you got it. Okay. Awesome. awesome. You're on fire. Okay, uh... Okay. Let's see. So with white, do you play anything usually? I mean, the most common move that people start with is they move their king's pawn. Uh, two yeah, that's forward. what I do. Uh, I so do that, and then they usually match it, right? And mm -hmm. then you yep. put um, knight to right there. Yep. Yeah, and then they match that, and then you bring the other knight up. So do they match that by playing here, or do they match that by playing opposite? No, they, they, they put it there. Yeah. Okay, and then what do you do? Uh, you take your knight, yeah, and you uh you put it to match theirs, and then they do the same thing. Yo, okay, I think you're the best on your team. You're pretty solid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. So I think you know the basic stuff. Um, so let's go uh further a couple moves. So let's say they play knight here. What would you play? Uh, usually I try to put a little bit con bit of control. Mm -hmm. Um, with my, I don't know, my my, my bishop. Maybe trying to get it onto uh, onto the knight. Yeah, so onto the knight is fine as well. Or or you can play bishop here. Like, I, I'm not any Fortnite professional coach or something. But I'm pretty sure, like, you always want to, like, go in the zone, right? Like, obviously. Oh, you want to okay. rotate in zone. You want to keep it in the middle, and that way you get more control, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we can either move our bishop here, or we can move our bishop to the middle. You know, and then try and attack uh, okay. their pawn. So, like... Usually, the zone, uh, compared to Fortnite, like, the zone in chess is always going to be where their king is, because mm -hmm. you always want to be checkmating them, which is basically the goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, like, similar to that, uh, the zone is, like, right here, so, yeah, bishop here is fine, or, or bishop here is also fine. I mean, both of these are played, like, world champ, uh, like, what world champions play as well. Like, Magnus Carlsen, he's the current world champion. Yeah. Uh, sometimes he plays this stuff. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, usually they start out with pawn to e4, and then, yeah, what you're saying is completely fine. Uh, and then let's say they play something like here. Uh, any thoughts on what you would play, or? Well, I mean, that's, uh, that's kind of just puts control there, right? I would kind of want to get my, uh, my rook out, so maybe do the little slidey whatever thing. I don't know what it's called with the, with the king. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so that's a special move. It's, it's called Castles. Okay. I mean, it's a special move, but in a way, it's, like, pretty common. Like, every game you have an opportunity to do this. So, like, yeah, it, it's, like, in a way, because the king usually can only move one square wherever it goes. Uh, but yeah. because it's doing the slidey thingy uh, with the rook, yeah, it can move two squares. Um, Yeah, and then, so, uh, let's say the bishop moves here or something. So, I mean, the whole goal, I mean... Your first couple moves, all you're supposed to be doing is you want to try and get out your pieces. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then you want to try and control the center. I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, in Fortnite, do you try and control? I mean, I know the zone doesn't pop up right away, right? I mean, there's. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, as soon as the zone pops up, do you always rotate zone right away, or? Uh, not really. I mean, you kind of like go around. I think I think it's a lot different with chess because mm -hmm. I think with chess you want to hold the control of the center, and with Fortnite it's like you want to play around and not be in the center because then you'll get like focused by everyone. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll just uh, pop a Q&A question here. Uh, what's the best part about Fortnite coaching? So, I, I was playing the game myself for a while, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was a competitive player. But at some point, it's like, I don't enjoy playing the game myself. But yeah. I think I, I really enjoy, like, helping other people and helping them grow to become better players. Yeah. That's what I would say is probably one of the best parts. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I think I saw on your Twitter you tweet out. I'm not sure, like a couple of days ago, you uh you got mentored by someone, right? Or like you were following someone. I forgot exactly who. Uh yeah yeah yeah, and then he uh, I, he was started making like coaching content. Your uh to Arab, your fellow Arab. Yeah yeah yeah. And I uh, I started getting into coaching because I I saw that he uh he started making that kind of content, and I thought okay, this looks this looks enjoyable, and so I'm gonna start coaching and doing my own things and then I started doing that grinding for uh, King Garna and then I just joined them about two weeks ago wow congrats thank you yeah okay uh so what we'll do next is uh, I'll just show you some basic ideas I guess and then uh we'll just get into the trivia right away go for it um so yeah uh like I think you got most of the stuff down just developing your pieces and stuff you know all the different types of pieces and uh yeah uh, this, by the way, is called Castles, not Rook Slidey Thingy, but it's all good. I like Rook Slidey Thing better. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I made it myself. It's my... Uh, yeah, wow, creative, A+. plus. Professional name for it. Yep. Um, And also, there's uh two more special moves in chess. I'm not sure whether you've heard about them. Uh, one is, like, getting uh one of your pawns uh to the uh, other side of the board. Yeah, and then you can make it, like, any pawn. Yeah, yeah, you can, uh, yeah, Maybe not any, any pawn, anything. you can make it any piece. Any piece is what I meant, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but usually you can't do that in the opening, uh, because I think that's, like, it is super hard. I think yep. it's just as hard as hitting, like, a triple edit one pump, because I know those are pretty hard. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're hard, right? Yeah, they're pretty hard. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, and then there's another one, uh, it's called En Passant, or In Passing, uh, like, it was created by the french i think uh do you know what that is or um isn't it a scenario where like you can move past another piece with a with, is it with a pawn i don't remember it's like when you get closed off in an area on the side i've said i think i've seen it one time i i have no clue what i'm talking about but yeah no no, no you're, you're pretty close like for example like if this happened i mean this is not good by any means but um here like if black would have moved it here you can capture black's pawn yeah uh, but if they try to avoid that by playing uh it up two squares, then you can just take back simply. Uh, so because usually pawns can only take uh from the diagonal, oh, okay. so like here you can like bypass that and sort of take it. That's so weird. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty strange. Okay. Is that on like any piece on the map? Uh, it, it no, on it's side? it's only with pawns, unfortunately. But uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, sorry, I meant like it's like. Is it only from the sides you can do with the pawn? No, or? no. I mean, it most often happens on the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since, like, if you come here right away and you try to come here, they would probably just take you right away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it wouldn't make much sense. Um, Yeah, enough talk. Okay, let's get into trivia. Um, right. So, um, which side goes first? What? Okay. And... When you're white, how many moves can you make? Like, on your first turn, how many different moves can you make? Oh, like different possibilities of moves? Yep. I mean, let me try right now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? Are you sure? Is that your oh, final wait, answer? Eight, Twelve. No. Yeah. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think it's 12. Okay. Oh, uh, so there's eight pawns, right? Yeah. And you can move all of them on your first turn. Mm -hmm. But the trick here is that 
I'm not sure if you know, but pawns can either move one square or two squares. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so, so unfortunately, so like if there's there. eight pawns, they can each move two squares, that's 16. So 16 and then plus the four from the knights of 20. Yeah, okay. Um, And by chance, do you know who the current world champion is? Like in chess, there's no such thing as like solos, duos or anything. It's always one yeah. person. I mean, except for Bug House, but that's a different story. I'm going to so, get is Magnus Carlsen. Uh, are you sure you're the worst on the team? Like, you seem to be not. pretty OP. I watched my fair share of Ludwig. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, how many squares are on the chessboard? Um, I can just count right now. Uh, 16. Wait, 16? Yeah, sorry, 32. Are I'm you sure? Are you sure? How many, how many what? How, how many squares are on the chessboard? Oh, squares. I think it said pieces. Oh, oh. It's 8 by 8, right? So 64. Yep. Okay. Uh, and last question. How many years was the longest world champion world champion? Like, if that makes sense, like, hmm. how long? Like, in Fortnite, the rankings constantly change, right? Like, one person yeah, would be... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, how long was the... Uh, so, at I'm one point, there was a chess world champion. How many years was he world champion? It was the longest amount of time ever. Um, I'm gonna guess 12 years. 12 years? Okay, I'll give you one hint. It's higher. Higher? Oh my god. Uh, 24. Oh, it was 26. I'll still give you credit. I'll still give you credit. Oh. It's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Pretty close, actually. I'm quite surprised. You're pretty good. Like, better than I thought. <laughs> um, yeah, so, anything else? Or... I mean, I don't want to take up too much of your time, so... No, I mean, this was fun, man. I liked it. Yeah. That was, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm just... I want to get better at chess because I feel like it's a fun game, but... Yeah, I mean, I feel like sometimes uh, people who play video games, like, chess is probably obviously boring, but, I mean, it's a different experience once in a while. Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely enjoy playing it. It's just, it, it really is a different experience, and it's kind of, like, overwhelming. Yeah. Especially with, like, a new player, but, no, it's, it's, it's really fun. Might, might keep playing it after this, you know, it's kind of fun, but uh, thank you for uh, having me on your video, bro. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you so much.